hey there and welcome to my channel, the place where we give you the parenting strategies to help your little ones to sleep. So today we're going to be talking all about clock changes and baby sleep. And I'm going to be, over the next few episodes, giving you different strategies and different tips for how you can manage the clock changes, particularly this time the spring forward clock change where the clocks go forward by one hour. And in this particular episode, I'm gonna be focusing on how you can do that in gradual little steps to make that change really, really easy. So stick around, because I'm gonna break this down for you, show you exactly how to do it, so that you're all prepared and equipped and ready for that spring clock change. Okay, so when you're helping your baby or young child to move with the clock change going forwards one hour, this is an approach you can take to make things gradual and subtle so that they don't really notice it too much. This is what I like to call the gradual approach. So what we do is we start on the Wednesday before the clock change. Now the clocks change technically on the Sunday, but let's just say it's in the night on a Saturday night. During the night sleep, the clocks are gonna go forward an hour between Saturday and Sunday. So we're gonna start on the Wednesday. On Wednesday, we are going to move the bedtime earlier by 15 minutes. We're gonna do the same on Thursday and on Friday so that by Saturday, we have got to a whole hour earlier. So let me break that down for you. If bedtime is usually, and I say bedtime, I mean a sleep time, is usually 7 p.m. Let's, I'm gonna take a clock here. Let's take 7 p.m. And we're going to move the bedtime on Wednesday night earlier by 15 minutes. So we're gonna move that to 6.45. Now, we're gonna move it 15 minutes to 6.45 on Wednesday. We're gonna move it another 15 minutes to 6.30 on Thursday. We're going to move it another 15 minutes, so we are at 6.15 asleep time by Friday. And then by Saturday night at bedtime, we are asleep for 6 p.m. instead of 7 p.m. We've moved it by 15 minutes earlier each night. When we put a little one to sleep at 6 p.m. on Saturday night, during the night the clocks are gonna jump forward an hour, meaning that your little one will take the same amount of sleep to wake up at the usual regular wake-up time. For example, if they uh, normally sleep 12 hours, they're going to still sleep 12 hours and wake at 7 a.m., even though the clocks went forward by an hour. Make sense? Okay, so who is this approach for? This is the approach that I would recommend you take if you have a younger baby, um, a baby that's still taking several naps a day, or a little one to whom small changes make a big difference. If they are very sensitive to subtleties and changes, then this is gonna be a good approach for them because it is so subtle and, and um, gradual that it isn't something they're gonna massively notice or massively impact them because it's just little increments. So that's who this is for. It would particularly be the younger ones. Older children, it probably would, would look at one of my other approaches, which are coming up in my next few episodes. But if they are on the younger side or the particularly sensitive side, you're really super alert, they're gonna need a very subtle, gradual approach like this. So I hope this has helped you. And if this is the approach for you, you've got plenty of time now to get ready for that when that clock change comes. But do take a look at the other possible strategies and options that I'm gonna go over with you in the next few episodes as well. So I will see you in the next episode. In the meantime, take care and sleep soundly. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.